Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Mighty Morphin Power Rangers video, and today, it comes courtesy of my friends over at Super 7, this is a bit of an early look at the upcoming MMPR Ultimates, the original monster maker evil space alien himself, Finster. And as you can see, due to that window box packaging, he does come with a few accessories, along with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers front and center Finster, of course, voiced by the amazing Robert Axelrod, who also did Lord Zed's voice. He was also on Cowboy Bebop, Big O, and he was Microchip on Spider-Man the Animated Series. But I love that you got a nice picture front and center on the back of Finster and a little bit of a bio if you want to screen grab it. This is going to be an absolute blast. Finster was always one of the best evil space aliens from the show because he was the most creative. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Super 7 straight from their MMPR Ultimates line, Finster. And while I got all you monster Maddox here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates... Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So here's the evil space alien Finster all out of the packaging. And I had to laugh a little bit because I totally thought there was a lot more in the box. But he does come with some hands. So he has gloved hands. He got punchy hand and putty sculpting hands and whatnot. And they are painted well for what paint is there. And then on the other side, he got his weirdo like feeler feely things whatever the heck those are i don't know they got green tips <laughs> anyways you have his monster creating device <laughs> scalpel it's very flexible and then you get three little putty patrollers pre monster matic of course so that's cool to see i absolutely love that that's a really nice accessory as is the putty eyes version of pudgy pig Maybe that's a hint of something coming up. I would love to see Super 7 tackle that, along with King Sphinx, and we've already gotten him from their MMPR Ultimates line, but those are just nice accessories, especially when you have King Sphinx, and you have Rita, and you got Finster, and Finster gets to gloat and be like, check this dude out, I totally uh, made this. It's just nice to see, I like that. So Finster himself, very much a dude in a suit much like all their other MMPR Ultimates. That's what I love about Super 7's versions of these Power Rangers. He actually has cloth goods as well, surrounded by a plastic apron and everything else, and the paint is terrific on this guy. He is decked out to the nines, from the glasses to his ears. One thing I would have loved to have seen though was a movable mouth. I think that that would have been kind of cool, would have added a little bit more to it. But you have this little accessory, you can put it around his neck, it's his magnifying glass. I totally dig that. So that just drapes right over, pop the head off, slip that over the neck and you're good. But just look at all the details. Now, unfortunately, none of this stuff comes out of loops. It's all sculpted in, but it is painted nicely. But I think that that would have been kind of cool, right? To have that come off his apron. And as I told you, he does have cloth goods for the entirety of the body, from the pants to the sleeves. It doesn't hinder the articulation, but you will have articulation in the arms. And as you can see, it's just single joints, a little bit of a bicep swivel. You're very easy peasy with the articulation. That's what Super 7 does. But for me and how I like to display these, simpler the better, right? At least he can do the basic motions mobility, he has a little bit of a waist, he's got single jointed knees, the legs again aren't hindered by any of the cloth material, and he's got his little booties. So it's it's enough articulation for my taste, but I do hear people when they say, oh, it could be a lot more articulated. Maybe in the Power Rangers. These types of evil space aliens basically just danced around the, the moon palace, right? That's his whole function is to pull the monster matic and that's it. But I like the head articulation. You get enough out of it. And like I said, the paint is gorgeous all over. Looks like a man in a suit. If you had had jaw articulation, that would have been even better. But to show you the scalature of old Finster here, you have Power Rangers, Rita, King Sphinx, the Megazord. Yeah, he will scale nicely with the ones he is supposed to scale nicely. And then just to show you a comparison for the Hasbro Lightning Collection, Finster, 
is one of the best Power Ranger figures that Hasbro has done. I still love that figure. I love the Super 7 one as well. I like them for different reasons. I think they both achieve something great, adding and subtracting certain details that I like for each one. If you kind of mash these together, you would have one ultimate Finster. I tells you what. But this is one of those cases where it's kind of a stalemate. They've both done something spectacular here. And oddly enough, it's for the character of Finster. So that'll wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new Super 7 straight from their Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimates line, the evil space alien Finster. And it's quite an achievement. He's got a lot going on, great paint, great articulation for what is there. And I really do dig his accessories. Yes, they could have given him a few more but it would be very, very specific. He has the basics of what Finster does. So I think you'll be set with this Finster or heck, check out the Hasbro Lightning Collection. You won't be disappointed with that one either. But you've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And again, thanks to my friends over at Super 7 for sending this out for the purposes of this video. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep bringing on those evil space aliens, especially the ones that have never had toys. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.